Chapter 7 Controlling To achieve the objective, the business unit prepares plan and organization, implements it. To check whether the work is done as per the plan or if there is any deviation, is the work to be controlled. Meaning, planning decides objective and control makes it possible. According to Peter Drunker, controlling is to maintain a balance between efforts and results and between resources and objective. So, to check if the entire unit works as per plan, follows instruction given by the management and obey the principles is the work of control. Characteristics of controlling First is related to planning. Controlling is not possible without planning. Comparison of actual working with standards is only possible when we have planning. Planning and controlling are two sides of the same coin. They are like twins. Second is functions at all level of management. There are three levels, top, middle and bottom. At all the three levels, there is planning and so exist control. Third is continuous process. It is wrong to think that once control is exercised, all the activities will be done in orderly manner. It is to be repeated. Once we take corrective action, it does not mean that all the activities will be done in orderly manner. In reality, all the workers and their work are to be supervised continuously. Fourth is an activity of management. In the management process, planning decides objectives, organizing implements them, directing gives direction and at the end controlling function begins. Hence it is the end activity of management. Fifth, related to future. Controlling is related to future. The manager has no control over past activity. It is a work of control to see that errors, losses and wastage of past and take necessary care so that it is not repeated in future. Sixth, it is a constructive activity. It is believed that control is an attack on the freedom of employees. In control, one needs to take corrective actions based on the type of deviation. Controlling rectifies mistakes and take necessary steps so that it is not repeated in future. So it is a constructive activity. 7. Internal process. Controlling is an internal process. Various activity of business like finance, production, purchase, sale, etc. are internal matter. Various external factor affects the business such as government policy, inflation, etc. But in such situation, controlling is not effective and it cannot be controlled. Thus, control is an internal activity. 8. Dynamic process. The process of control is related to planning. It is an intellectual process based on planning. As the assumption of different factors changes, the goals of planning changes accordingly. Fast changes are made in the controlling process. Ninth, controlling is a personal oriented or subjective activity. It is done for the improvement of activities of workers, by the workers and for the workers. It improves the per, uh, performance of worker. Controlling is an act of subject and object. Control is necessary for the entire unit or any one person. Tenth, controlling can be formal or informal. Management should have both relationship with its staff. Controlling can be made effective by having formal and informal relation with the staff. So from the above characteristics, we learned that it proves that success of planning is vested on the effective implementation of controlling. Importance of controlling Controlling is an important stage of management. Controlling is necessary for achieving managerial objective. Without controlling, an organization is like a chariot without a charioter. The main objective of controlling is to check the errors or shortcomings of the past and stop their recurrence. According to Peter Drunker, controlling is to maintain a balance between efforts and results and between resources and objective. First, helpful in achievement of goals. As we all know, the main objective of any enterprise is to earn profit. Now, broadly speaking, there may be some other goals in the business. Controlling is that management function which helps in achieving these goals. Second, control on activities. Various activities are there to be performed. Sometimes they may be group of activities. Various activities of an undertaking and functional areas can be controlled so that we can increase the effectiveness.
Third, makes planning effective. According to an expert, planning lays down the path and controlling helps to find the deviation and improves them. Thus, by controlling, achievement of objective is possible and planning becomes successful. Fourth, coordination between various activities. Coordination is done with the help of controlling. There should be a proper coordination among all these activities. And it is only because of control that coordination is possible. Fifth, evaluation of activities. The activities are compared with predetermined standards and evaluated. Sixth, removes deviation. Controlling aims at taking corrective action. The difference between actual performance and standards is known as deviation. This deviation can be removed by corrective action. This is the main importance of control. Seventh is necessary for delegation of authority. To give work to the subordinates is known as delegation of authority. It is very important to see that the work done in accordance with the plan. Proper accountability should be there. Control helps in delegating the work and increase the productivity. Eighth, find out errors. Errors are nothing but deviation in work. Control helps in deriving these errors. It is also useful in finding the derived deviation. So, supervision and evaluation is necessary. Ninth, long-term planning. On the basis of information which is gathered about present organizational activities, control can be used to make long-term assumption. Tenth, helpful in directing. Controlling simplifies directing. It supervises the personnel, gives guidance and direction in their difficulties. Eleventh, barometer of efficiency. One common function of a management is to increase efficiency. Control play an important role in increasing the efficiency. Control measures the efficiency of management. Interrelationship between planning and controlling. Planning refers to systematic and intellectual program to achieve the objective. Control is a process to monitor whether business activities are carried out according to the plan. Relationship. Planning and controlling are the two sides of the same coin. The manager of a business organization requires to do two important functions, that is planning and controlling. The success of planning depends on controlling. Controlling finds out the deviation, takes necessary correction and also takes business activity into right direction. Controlling is also not possible without planning. So, where there is no planning, there is no need of controlling. Planning and controlling are two sides of the same coin. Second, protection against changes. Business is affected by internal and external factors. One may not have any control over external factors. Thus, taking into consideration the effect of external factors, controlling sees to it whether activities are carried out according to plan or not. Thus, planning and controlling gives protection against the changes. Third, planning is a precondition for controlling. The function of planning is to make program, while the function of controlling is to see whether the activities are performed according to plan or not. Corrective action depends upon the type of deviation. Deviations can be derived by comparing actual performance with standards. This is not possible without planning. Hence, we can say that planning is a preconditional to control. Fourth, planning is the father of controlling. For any business, both planning and controlling are necessary. Controlling exists because of planning. And first planning is carried out, which is followed by control. So controlling does not exist without planning. Keeping this in mind, planning is considered to be father of controlling. Each business enterprise has its own speciality. So controlling process cannot be same for all the business units. Still, there are some common controlling mechanisms which are as follows. The steps taken to apply control in the business unit is called control process. So, the stages of controlling process, the first one is establishment of standard, that is setting standard. Controlling process starts with the establishment of standards, that is the first step. Second is standards are decided at top level by the experts. Third, the employees then play their work according to the targets. Next, fourth is control sees that the work is done as per the standards. And standards can be short term, long term. 
इट कैन बी सेल्स टारगेट्स प्रॉफिट टारगेट्स आइदर क्वालिटेटिव और क्वान्टिटेटिव सेकेंड इज गैदरिंग ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन एट दिस स्टेज इंफॉर्मेशन इज गैदर सो फर्स्ट लेट एस पुट अप इन अ पॉइंट वाइज कलेक्टिंग इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट द इवेंट्स सेकेंड इज इंफॉर्मेशन और द डेटा इज कलेक्टेड थ्रू रिपोर्टिंग थर्ड इज रिपोर्टिंग मे बी ओरल और इन अ रिटर्न फॉर्म और पर्सनल सुपरविजन थर्ड इज मेजरिंग परफॉर्मेंस सो फर्स्ट वन नीड्स टू मेजर द परफॉर्मेंस सेकेंड इट इज रिक्वायर्ड इन ऑर्डर टू फाइंड द डिविएशन थर्ड द मेजरिंग प्रोसेस कैन बी क्वालिटेटिव और क्वान्टिटेटिव फोर्थ इज कंपेरिजन ऑफ वर्क डन विथ सेट स्टैंडर्ड सो इन दिस द स्टैंडर्ड सेट बाई द टॉप लेवल इज कंपेयर विद द डेटा रिगार्डिंग द वर्क डन दिस कंपेरिजन गिवस यू डिविएशन बेस्ड ऑन दिस डिविएशन वन नीड टू थिंक ओवर करेक्टिव एक्शन Fifth is corrective measures. This is the last stage in the controlling process. If deviation are found out, then necessary corrective measures can be taken, and these are the three measures we take. First is no change in the condition. So, if the deviations are ignorable, no corrective action is to be taken. Second is change the condition to remove the deviation. If the deviations are negative, we need to improve the working. For this, one may have to provide training to the workers. Third is change the condition and establish fresh or new standards. If the deviation are positive, one needs to cancel the old standards and set fresh standards. It means either the standards were high or realistic outcomes can be derived by raising the standard. So all the above steps. are necessary and should be performed in a specific order however as stated in the beginning different business unit may have different controlling process